Hi everyone, welcome back to Children's Liturgy of the Word. This is Miss Megan, and I am excited because today we're talking about a very special feast day in the church, a holiday. Do you know what holiday it is? No, it's not Halloween. We celebrated that yesterday, didn't we? And actually, I want to show you my puppy's Halloween costume. Look, there he is. This is my puppy Milo. And do you see his little wings? That's his costume. He is dressed as an angel dog, but he's not just any angel dog. He is dressed as a very particular angel dog, a dog named Grigio. And Grigio actually has something to do with our feast day today because he's part of the story of a very holy person, a saint. And that's who we're celebrating today. Today is the feast of all saints. But what is a saint anyway? Well, a saint is someone who has died, who loved God so much during their life that their love for God helped other people to know and love God too because of their example. And so those are the church's saints. They're people who have just lived very holy lives. And do you know how many there are? There's a lot. More than 10,000 saints. That's a lot of holy men and women in our church. And so how does a person get to be a saint? Is it like being a superhero? No. Saints are ordinary people, just like you and me. They become special through the choices that they make, the choices for loving God and for loving other people. And any one of us can do the same thing. And that's the best part about saints, because we can become saints too, you and me, any of us, by learning to love God with our whole heart, our whole soul, and our whole mind, just like Jesus told us last week, remember? And so by doing that, we can make God our best friend, just like the saints did. So in today's gospel reading, Jesus gives us a little bit more information, more clues about the kind of people who have God's particular attention. And it helps us to understand the kind of people that we should be if we want to become saints. Okay, so let's listen. Okay, for our gospel acclamation, we're going to sing, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and you say, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, and you say, Glory to you, O Lord. And we all say together, Lord be on our minds, on our lips, and deep in our hearts. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So that gospel tells us a lot, doesn't it, about the kind of person that God wants us to be. So let's talk about some of the saints that we know about who did some of those things. There are some really amazing stories. So let's tell some stories, shall we? You've actually already seen their pictures. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Poor in spirit means to be humble. And a very good example of that is St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Look at her picture here. You wouldn't tell to look at, at this picture, but she was a queen. St. Elizabeth of Hungary became the queen of Thuringia when she was only 14 years old. She could have stayed in the castle all the time and been very comfortable. But Queen Elizabeth learned that the people of Thuringia were hungry. 
And some of them were hurting and sad and scared. And there was a lot of sickness in Thuringia. And so instead of staying in her castle and staying comfortable and safe, she started working very hard to make sure that the people of Thuringia were taken care of. So in this picture here, she's spinning wool to turn into cloth to keep them warm. And she used to go down from her castle on the hill and she'd go down and she'd take care of people and bring them food and all sorts of things that they would need. And they even tell a story about her bringing sick children up to the castle and putting them in her own bed to take care of them. So St. Elizabeth was poor in spirit because she gave up her own comfort in order to take care of the people around her. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. No, Jesus says that because to be merciful is to treat people with kindness and forgiveness. St. John Bosco was a priest. He started a school for boys who couldn't go to school because their parents couldn't afford it. At that time, it was common for grown-ups to hit children in school if they weren't behaving. We don't do that now. But at that time, that's what they always did in schools. But St. John Bosco said, I don't believe in hurting children to get them to listen. And because he believed in mercy. And so at his school, children were treated with respect and with love instead. Remember when I said my puppy was dressed as a special angel dog for Halloween? Well, that angel dog was St. John Bosco's. Sometimes he would go out walking alone to places at night in places that were kind of dangerous. And sometimes people might be mean to him or try to hurt him even. And so um, he would feel nervous. But one day, a large gray dog started showing up and walking with him. And no one ever saw where the dog came from or where it went. No one ever saw the dog eat. It just appeared when he needed it, and then when he didn't, it left. He started calling it Grigio, which is Italian for gray, because it was a big gray dog. And so some people think that Grigio was a special guardian dog sent by God to protect St. John Bosco so he could go and do his work. So we don't really know, but I think it's a great story to show that sometimes even dogs can be special friends of God. So for today's activity, it's your turn to learn about a saint. Ask your grown-ups if they have any favorites. Maybe they're named for a saint, or maybe you are. Look up that saint and ask your grown-ups to tell you a story about them, and then you can tell a story back to them. Find out what makes that person so special. What makes them holy? Why were they such good friends with God? And what did they do that Jesus would call blessed? And then you could also create a special place in your house for your saints. So I have Back here, you can see I have a bunch of different pictures of different saints here who are special to me. And so you can find things that remind you of your saint and put them on your special place. And then before you go to bed tonight, light a candle in your special place like I have here and say a special prayer to God and ask God to give you the courage and the wisdom to be more like that saint. And then you can ask that saint to pray for you to God. Because just like we can ask our friends and our family to pray for us, we can also ask the saints to pray for us. That's the amazing thing about saints and all the holy people. They don't stop loving us and praying for us when they die. So ask your saint to pray for you too. Let us pray. In church, often on the Feast of All Saints, we sing a special song called the Litany of the Saints, where we ask the saints to pray for us, and we ask God to make us more like the saints. So let's sing a Litany of the Saints together. Are you ready? This song is very easy. I sing the name of a saint, and you sing, pray for us, okay? You'll pick it up very quickly. You just sing right along with me, okay? Here's how it goes. Saint Patrick, pray for us. Saint Malachi and Wendelin, pray for us. Saint Angela Marici, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Prisca and Aquila, pray for us. Saint Mary and Joseph. Pray for us, all you holy men and women. Pray, pray for us, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. Pray for us, Saint Alonso Rodriguez. Pray for us, Saint Josephine. 
Makita. Pray for us. Saint John Bosco. Pray for us. Saint Kateri Tekakwitha. Pray for us. Saint Oscar Romero. Pray for us. Oh, you holy men and women. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Go forth in peace, everyone, and may the saints watch over you this week until we meet again. Goodbye.